Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I carry in my purse. Now this purse is not a purse that I carry with me every day. It's one that I use more for situations like if I'm on a weekend trip or if I'm going somewhere for a day with my dog for example and I maybe want to take some treats for him or a water bottle. But this is not my everyday bag but I do use this purse sometimes um, and I wanted to show you guys how I use it. So. This is actually the little purse that I carry on an everyday basis. It's a little belt purse. Um, maybe you've seen this in my travel video before, but I keep my phone, my wallet, and my keys in here. This one is the one I use on an everyday basis. I hadn't found this type of bag anywhere except for Primark, so I ended up buying the Primark one, um, which I know is not the best choice, but it really was the exact bag that I wanted and had in mind. It has the two little straps on the back and it's this material that's very much waterproof so the water slides right off of it. I really like that. Here it is next to my hand for a bit of a reference. It is pretty small but it fits everything I need and the straps are very handy to keep things hand free. Especially if I have my dog on me or I'm using the train to travel, I like having my hands free. This is what I keep in the front pouch. It's a pretty big pouch for a little front pouch, but I like keeping my mints in here because, you know, we all like smelling nice. I also keep my AirPods in here, and yes, they are chewed by my dog, and yes, I do still love him. Um, you have to compromise when you have a dog, but yeah, my AirPods go in here. I also have some lip balm in here. I like this Vaseline one because it's really good for cold weather. And then I also keep my keys in here. They look kind of bulky for minimalist keys, but I'll explain to you guys what they are because I do use all of these keys. So the first small tiny key is the key for my locker in the gym, which I honestly don't use enough, but I uh, <laughs> need to start going to the gym more. Um, this is my electronic key to my house because my building works with electronic keys. This one is my bicycle key, which I do use very, very often, so I like to keep it on my regular keychain. This is my mailbox key, which again, I use almost on an everyday basis. And then this is actually a little keychain thing that I got when I donated blood and it just says my blood type and I kind of like that because I guess in an emergency if someone were to run into my keys they could see my blood type I don't know I don't know if that's something someone would do but uh, <laughs> I also like carrying a little beer bottle opener it's just a little convenient thing to have on me but yeah those are my keys um, and that's pretty much everything that goes into the front pouch as you can tell it has a lot of space and it's just nice to keep things handy like if i'm traveling by train i'll also put my train card in there um etc so this is the main pouch i usually carry a water bottle with me especially if i'm on a little trip i like having water with me but as you can tell a whole water bottle fits in here i'm pretty sure this bottle is 750 milliliters um but i'm not exactly sure Maybe it's 500 milliliters, but yeah, it fits in there perfectly well. It closes and opens without a problem. So again, it's small bag, but it really works. I also keep my phone in the main pouch. This is just my phone case because my phone is currently filming this, but it's to represent that my phone would be in here. I avoid putting it in the front pouch for security reasons. I guess it's easier to steal. And this is my medicine pouch. I tend to carry this with me whenever I'm leaving the house for longer periods of time. It has things like pads, but also my stomach medicine, which I need pretty often, and my medication for anxiety. So these are like my emergency anxiety pills, and then I also have some natural calming pills. Um, but especially for someone like me, it's very important to have these on me. And then I also have like ibuprofen and that type of stuff. Um, I do use a menstrual cup, but I like having um, these little pads and I also carry a tampon with me just because I feel like you never know when one of your friends might need one, so I like having those on me. I also have band-aids in here um, because again, you never know when you might need them. This is the pouch I take with me on trips as well, for example, so it's just always ready to go. The next thing I keep in here are tissues. They're just very convenient to have. I also like carrying a pen with me because you never know when you need it and it doesn't really occupy that much space. It's just nice to have in your purse. 
And this is my hand cream, especially when the weather gets colder. I like having hand cream on me, so I just always have that one in my little bag. My dog is very curious about it as well. The other thing I keep in here is a little hairbrush, it's very small. And then my Red Michael Kors wallet. It is bigger than my normal wallet. It's the one I take with me when I'm um, gonna go on trips. So it's not my main wallet, but I do use it pretty regularly. And then some of the things that you'll find in here are um, my identification card, my driver's license, my train card, um, my student card, my insurance cards, and my bank cards. The reason I like carrying a bigger wallet when I travel is because many of the times I will need um, currency. I don't usually like having cash on me, but in other countries I tend to need to have coins and bills with me, so this one fits things better. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more weekly content. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers that I recently reached, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!